Hey guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to talk about the iPhone SE first generation running iOS 15 developer beta 1. And now I think it caught everyone by surprise when Apple announced that iOS 15 will be compatible with iPhone SE first generation, the iPhone 6S and the iPhone 6S Plus. That brings these devices up to six years of software support with iOS 15 on board. And it's always great to see that Apple continues to support older devices. But I think as reviewers here on YouTube, uh, we sometimes forget to talk about the older devices and some of the new features that are coming with the latest updates. And we also forget to talk about some of the features that are not coming to the older devices. For those of you that still own and use an iPhone SE first generation, iPhone 6S or 6S Plus. So this video is for you. Now, there's a few things that are coming to the iPhone SE 6S and 6S Plus with the latest iOS uh, 15 here. Of course, we have the new focus mode, which is the new option where you can set different notifications for different times of the day based on location and time or whatever it is that you're doing at that particular moment. It's nice to see that Apple is bringing a lot of these new features over to the older iPhones. Now, Do Not Disturb also received an update in iOS 15 and it is fully featured here just as it is on iPhone 12, which is the latest devices. That's also nice to see. Now, one of the biggest updates to the iPhone this year or the software on the iPhone is FaceTime. Now, FaceTime received a bunch of improvements. Now, there's some hardware limitations here for iPhone SE first gen, the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. For example, if we head on over to FaceTime here on this newer device and we bring down the control center, we now have the new a video effects option, which allows us to enable portrait mode here on the iPhone 12 for FaceTime calls, which allows you to stay in focus while the background is blurred, very similar to as of when you take pictures on your iPhone with the portrait mode option. And you also have the new options for the microphone, which is the standard, the voice isolation, and the wide spectrum. Those options are not going to be available for older devices. So if we head on over to control center here, obviously the software here just doesn't show up because of the hardware is just not capable of providing that type of level of performance. So we don't have the portrait mode options for FaceTime. And I don't think a lot of users will miss that. That's just a bonus in my opinion. Opinion. but the microphone options is a really solid update to FaceTime and it's not available here on iPhone SE first generation for obvious reasons. However, if you do make a FaceTime call, you do get the screen sharing options, which is super cool. So you can screen share your device and hopefully you'll be able to share play on this device as well, where you can be on a FaceTime call with a friend. Uh, that's still not working properly in beta one, so I can't confirm if Apple is gonna make that available here for the first generation iPhone SE and the iPhone 6S or 6S Plus, but at least the screen share option does show up as well as links and links allows you to create a FaceTime call and anybody with a Android device, another iOS device or a Windows machine can actually join in the FaceTime call. So FaceTime is almost fully featured. There's just some hardware limitations there, but it's nice to see that at least screen share options here are showing up. Therefore, hopefully the share play options will also be available so you can watch a video, a movie, a TV show, whatever it is with your friends, maybe listen to music together. That is one of the biggest updates here coming to FaceTime. And there's also additional options within the photos that are available for newer devices that unfortunately are just not coming to the first generation iPhone SE 6S or 6S Plus. For example, the ability to use the live text where you can copy and paste text from an image and just use it uh, to paste it into somewhere else or look up the information. It doesn't have that ability to do that here on the iPhone SE first generation. You can't identify like animals or flowers or books with the new feature on the obviously iPhone 12 here, you can do so. So for example, on the iPhone 12 here, we can actually press and hold and uh, it will actually copy this word or we can look it up and if it's an animal, it'll give you some details about the animal. If it's a dog, it'll tell you the breed. If it's a business, it will tell you the business and so forth. So there's a lot of technology built into the Photos application, including new memory options that are not available for the older devices. But it's nice to see that Apple continues to improve the software overall, even if we don't get 
the latest features on the older devices. It's just nice to see that at least some of the new features are coming to these devices, mainly because these iPhones are just six years old at this point, and there's just no other company that can match what Apple is doing here in terms of software. Yeah, there is some features missing. It's not fully packed with everything that's new like it is on the newer iPhones, but I don't think anybody with a six-year-old iPhone that you could probably buy for like 50 to 60 bucks, uh, brand new, maybe 100 bucks these days, you can still run the latest OS, and it runs fairly well. Keep in mind, this is beta one, and I've been testing this on iPhone SE, 6S, and 6S Plus over the past several weeks. Yeah, there is some live text things that are not happening here, some FaceTime issues that are I just Apple continues to work on and that are not coming to this device. But overall, I think users with iPhone SE first generation are going to be very happy with the update, especially knowing that they're going to be receiving changes within the software as well. Even though there's minor changes this year, Apple continues to improve the software. So overall, if you own iPhone SE first generation, there's just a handful of features that are not coming as well as the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. But I don't think you will complain because there's also quite a bit happening here as well. So let me know in the comments down below, what are your thoughts? Do you still use an iPhone SE first generation 6S or 6S Plus? And if you did install iOS 15, how is it working for you so far with the latest beta? Thank you for watching. Thanks Apple for updating these devices with the latest software. And I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.